Hey guys, how's it going? Owner Chair and welcome to another Apex Online Racing League race. This time it's time for the Korean Grand Prix around the Yeongam circuit. So here we get, uh, here are we getting in my Mercedes um, for the qualifying. So here's my uh, my outlap. Uh, my outlap will start once we get out of the pit box, obviously. So there we go. Here's my outlap. Um, as I'm currently then second in the championship after Alex um, has taken the lead of this championship so I have to uh, I have to fight back uh, this race in order to uh, close the gap but I definitely uh, I'm not a big fan of this track to be honest um, yeah just not a not a really big fan um, middle sector it has quite uh, a few good sections but especially the first uh, first sector and uh, last sector I'm not really a fan of it but uh, obviously that's not an excuse um, to not perform well Currently I'm in second place with a 136.1, my, my PB coming into this race was a 135.7, so my personal best was a 135.7, uh, uh, currently Alex is in pole position with a 135.9. So here we go then, doing a slow hot lap. So uh, first of all I have to apologize because this video has been uploaded on Wednesday usually I upload the videos on Tuesday but there was a slight problem unfortunately which caused me to upload it uh, one day later uh, I hope you guys don't mind but um, you'll see later in this race uh, you know what that uh, issue is because I had a little bit of a problem so currently we have three new people into the league uh, one of them is Fergan Osgen, who is currently in the third place. We have uh, Gaston, who is somewhere, I think, in fifth position. And we have Ryan L83, um, known as uh, Ryan Littlemore. Uh, I think a lot of you guys will know him. He has quite a big YouTube channel, so he has joined the league as well. So here we go then. Here is uh, my hot lap. Going to Rich Mixture, try to burn up some fuel, make the car a little bit lighter. As Gaston Rivero is the name, he uh, got up into second place, so I have to improve. Uh, there's a little bit of pressure on this run, uh, I have to improve. So here we go then, crossing the line, opening up DRS as a few people retire from the race. Break uh, for the first corner when the curve starts out the first gear, shift down very quickly and have a best exit um, as possible. Let the car run out as wide as you can without uh, crossing the white lines and opening up DRS then using about half of the curse for the run down to this very tight hairpin going from 7th gear down to 1st gear and shifting down very quickly there then this hairpin you want to take a nice and good exit use, uh, use the rest of the curse well not all of it only 100k saving 100k for another part of the track I'm currently a 10th up on my previous uh, lap then we come into the more twisty section here this is all 1st gear well little short shift to 2nd and then this is all first gear, so I have another good exit and using the rest of my curse here. And then we come into another section. A quick right and left hander, full throttle easily. Then a left hander, you have to brake for it. A little bit too far off the apex unfortunately. Could have carried a little bit more speed into it. Then have a quick exit and here are a few lines possible. I take quite a tight line for throughout the whole corner basically. And that was definitely not the best line ever. You want to stay a little bit closer to the curbs, to the apex, unfortunately, but that's okay. Still a 10th up, I have lost nothing and gained nothing in that second sector. So that's very consistent. Then the uh, final sector. And then the run to the line, what's the time going to be? Hopefully it's quicker than Alex. What is it? It's a 135.9, which is enough for pole position. No, it's not. No, it's not. Um, Alex was behind me. Uh, I was in pole position for a few seconds, but then Alex improved his time, which is a great job from him. Uh, at the end of the day, I do a 35.9, which is just not enough um, for pole position. Alex does a 135.8, so he's only 3 one hundredths faster than me. Gaston in his first race, he's a third place, so good job from him. And Fergan in fifth position. My teammate Chicane is unfortunately outside the, po uh, the points at the moment. I think he was in P11. Um, and he is starting on the prime tire for this race though, so he's a little bit of a different strategy because I think the complete top 5 is uh, is on options. So here we go then, getting into the car for the race. Um, now I said before the race, I said 
um, that starting from pole position or starting from second place might be an advantage because after the first corner you have a very very long straight uh, as we see the strategy here there's a very long straight after the first corner uh, where you have a big advantage when you are in the slipstream so it's not it's not bad uh, in the second position of course I would rather have first um, but this is a good track to start from second place to be honest um, as you will see soon uh, because it does give you a little bit of an uh, advantage that slipstream so that's my teammate he is on he's in p12 actually uh, but he is on the uh, prime tires so here we go then two stop where uh, two stop is uh, possible to uh, to do but three stop is you know two stop is a little bit short if you could call it like that anyway the lights are out and away we go and having quite a decent start uh, going to mix free looking on the inside of Alex here can I break him into the first corner no not yet but that's okay because now we will have this uh, advantage so this is what I'm what I was talking about using a lot of curves and staying in a slipstream for this very long straight saving a little bit of curves for the uh, for the straight after the hairpin and here we go here comes the slipstream in into play uh, alongside Alex here on the outside though he defends the inside breaking for the hairpin and uh, too far away though so I'm going to try to do the undercut as we unfortunately lose connection to Vegas Pirate using the rest of my curse and staying behind him in his slipstream I want to get into a slipstream but this car is lagging a little bit so it's a little bit too dangerous again on the outside because he breaks the inside for this left hander and again trying to do the undercut if that works here on the outside for the next corner it's quite a good battle but I cannot seem to get past though another undercut and another undercut but he defends the inside or he blocks the inside uh, very well that's so good uh, defensive driving from Alex uh, I wanted to undercut cut him but uh, he blocked the inside there so in second position then still and um, Gaston in, uh, in third as unfortunately the slipstream it is effective on the straights but the dirty air coming from the car in front of you or off the car in front of you is really horrible and especially in this middle sector it's horrible uh, you get a lot of understeer from it as you see here as well you can see Alex pulling away in those uh, in those fast uh, corners you can, f uh, you can hear it as well with my throttle inputs. Uh, I have to sometimes get off the throttle for a short second, lift off the throttle. And you can see that I easily lost a few tenths in that final sector thanks to the dirty air. So here we go then completing lap 1. And unfortunately right now my, uh, my uh, footage got corrupted. So my recording got corrupted. And that's why we switch over to Kifla's point of view if that's right. Yep, there we go. Here's Kifla. So, very sorry guys. Um, I have to apologize, but m um, during the race, I noticed a uh, drop in uh, frames per second, FPS. Um, um, basically, I had the same issue in Suzuka in Season 6, I think it was. And I knew that my uh, recording uh, got corrupted then, when I had that FPS drop. So, uh, while I was driving, I pressed my uh, capture key, my record button, uh, to stop the recording and then start it over again. Uh, but unfortunately, when I pressed that, everything that I captured after that, um, you know, after I pressed my uh, record button, everything from then on isn't recorded, unfortunately. I'm sure it was recording during the race, but the file. It's, it's corrupted and I cannot do anything about it, unfortunately. Um, I know there are some fixes around on the internet which can you know fix the uh, corrupted files, but even that didn't work for me, unfortunately. So we join Kifla's point of view. I have to thank uh, Kifla, uh, giving credits to Kifla. I have asked him whether he could share his point of view. Um, so here we are driving with him. Um, thank you very much, Kifla, for sharing your point of view with me because I didn't want to disappoint you guys. Um, um, basically by ending the the video just after one lap I didn't want to disappoint you guys so I thought well the best thing I can do now is ask uh, anyone else for their point of view I asked Alex as well but unfortunately uh, Alex didn't upload uh, his point of view um, and I haven't really talked about him uh, with him about it anymore uh, because he isn't online but uh, I don't know if Alex wants to share his point of view, but if he does do that, I think it's already too late. But I don't think he is really bothered in uh, sharing his point of view because he also has quite a slow upload speed, just like me. So here we go then, on board with Kifla. I could maybe try to uh, to ask Alex for his point of view because we had a very good battle in this race, um, but 
uh, it's too late now I think I don't want to wait with uh, with the upload I mean you guys have waited long enough it's already uh, a day too late anyway enough about that um, you can see me driving there uh, up in front in front of Gaston and basically the uh, gap is maintaining to Alex because I'm gaining some time on the straights but then again losing quite a bit in that dirty air now actually this is quite good because I can compare my tire wear between um, I can compare the tire wear between me and Kifla and I can tell you that I was struggling a lot with tire wear and looking at Kifla's tires they are not too bad when you compare those tires to my tires at this stage my tires were already pretty red um, but Kifla isn't experienced in that and again I have high tire wear I really don't know how um, basically I really don't know why I have always such a high tire wear but it's definitely not, not something great for me so Kifla is currently behind Gaston and in front of uh, Furkan but uh, I won't do any commentary over Kifla's point of view because he can do that for himself I'll do some commentary over my you know over my race if you could call it like that because you can still see me in front that's my Mercedes in front as DRS comes into play as well so I think I was close enough uh, to Alex to have DRS but as you can see on the minimap a little bit too far to really profit from it or to overtake him um, Alex went a little bit defensive on this straight <coughs> as you saw in the distance but still too far back though to uh, overtake him just yet so my scheduled pit stop was in lap 4 I think so I'm going to pit this lap already um, looking at Kifla's tires you you know you cannot really think that my tires are really that worn um, you cannot even think about pitting this lap if you look at Kifla's tires but trust me my tires were very bad at this stage um, they were very red uh, definitely not in a good shape as you can see this one uh, in front I lose a, a little bit of time to Alex right now um, because of the tire wear so I'm going to pit this lap and we will see what Alex does also I should mention that um, I can uh, thank Shikane as well my teammate uh, uh, so credits to you Shikane because he also shared his point of view which you will see later on in this race so thanks to uh, both Kifla and Shikane for sharing their point of view with me so that I can at least show you guys something because I really did not want to disappoint you guys anyway I'm the only one coming into the pits from the of the top five actually so I'm very early and here now we uh, join Shikane then uh, it's lap 9 and I'm currently behind him I managed to jump Alex um, after I pitted with the undercut uh, I pitted earlier and when uh, Alex came out of the pits I was in front of him and Alex actually dropped himself behind Gaston um, I think Alex made a mistake actually so that's why he jumped behind Gaston anyway um, you can hear team speak by the way you will hear me talking soon uh, to Shikane, uh, but it's Dutch, um, so you probably won't understand it. But I'll I'll shut up now, so you can hear the conversation between him, him and me. You could hear me there for a second. That is TeamSpeak, which is the program we use to talk during the race. There again. So I uh, I told to Shikane. I said Shikane, thank you two times. Um, thank you very much uh, because Shikane told me that he would let me through um, and then he would try to hold up the rest of the field so Shikane is playing a very good teammate actually uh, at the moment for me uh, because remember he started on those prime tires he hasn't pitted yet and right now he's definitely holding up Gaston um, behind him and it's actually Kifla who was behind Gaston and then it's Alex I think so Alex dropped all the way to P5 it's looking really good for me at the moment in terms of the championship but can I hold on to this I think the rest of the p field pitted in lap 6 so they pitted like two laps later than me so their tires must be fresher so I have to take advantage of this while they are being held up by Chicane and now I'm pulling away from them see the gap between me and Chicane just after one lap the gap is already up to 2.2 seconds and uh, that just shows as well the difference between worn primes and uh, fresh uh, fresh primes because I was on primes at this stage so joining back to uh, Kifla then thanks uh, to Chicane again for your point of view rejoining on uh, Kifla Kifla is a third place and Alex is behind him still so the, cur the order basically stayed the same uh, uh, apart from Chicane who went into the pits 
for a new fresh of tires, fresh set of tires. So still into the lead as I now make a mistake go well wider. I think that's the same mistake that Alex did and I rejoined back in uh, second. Can Kifla attack me? Uh, he seems to be too far back. He's saving his curse as well by the way. Um, which is a little bit remarkable. So unfortunately I made a mistake there. It's, I think the same mistake as Alex did. Um, but I think Alex outbraked himself because he was a little bit scared. Uh, because other people braked really early. And I basically, I had the same thing. Um, what happened in Silverstone and Monza as well. I braked on the curb and when you brake on the curb in this game it instantly locks your tire. So that what that's what happened once again with me. Uh, it seems to be happening a lot of times with me. Um, I should stay off those curves on the braking but meanwhile I think that when you brake on the curb it shouldn't lock up instantly. I mean there's really nothing you can do about it so there's my mistake. And unfortunately that has dropped me to P2 and as well in the dirty air of Gaston which is definitely not good for me. Okay, as Kefla looks really close behind me. And I should have the RS on uh, Gaston. And Kifla will have the RS on me as well. So here we go, coming on to the start finish straight. Kifla has the RS indeed. Uh, it's, does it look like I have the RS? No, I don't have the RS. Even though I look quite close to Gaston, I don't have the RS at this stage. So here comes Kifla then, using a lot of his curse on this straight. And opening up his DRS, he used all of his curse. And I just leave the door wide open there. Uh, I have no DRS, I think. So I just leave the door wide open. There's no point in defending that. Um, I think I did save some curse though. So maybe I can overtake him back uh, at the end of this trade with use of curse. But I seem to be too far back. My tire wear right now was again much much worse than Kifla's tire wear. Um, also Alex pitted this lap. So Alex is going for a freestyle while I'm going for a two stop. Which is quite remarkable. Because normally Alex has his tire wear under control. Um, I didn't have my tire wear control at all this race, but I still went for a two stop because I thought that that was just the fastest way. Um, even though my tires are right now really, really shot, um, I still had to do two laps because I wanted to pit in lap 16. Uh, so I thought, you know, just hold on for two more laps, and yeah, then you're fine to do uh, to do a two stop. But Kefla has a really good pace at the moment. He's pulling away from me and closing down cross door as well in uh, front of him. Let's look at the gaps. It's um, it's just about it's just under a second to Gaston and just over a second to me. So very good driving from Kifla here as I'm struggling with Taiwan unfortunately. But I knew that my chance would come um, when I pitted for a fresh set of tires. Unfortunately for Kifla, he ran a little bit wide, costing him quite a lot of time. Um, and definitely he doesn't have DRS on uh, Gaston. I'm sure. No, he doesn't. It's 1.5 and still one second to me. So coming into lap 15 then, just one more lap before I pit. Skifla's tires are starting to wear quite a bit right now as well, but it's definitely not as bad as my tires were at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry that the foul got corrupted, but uh, there's not a lot that I can do about it. You know, again, I'm sorry, but there's not much you can do about it. So quite interesting Alex going for a free stop and me going for a two stop that would be very interesting in the end of this race for sure because uh, probably Alex will be on very fast tires at the end of this race and I am then on uh, old uh, prime tires but I would have one pit stop advantage over him um, so that was going to be quite an interesting end to this race probably as well with Gaston and Kifla uh, being up at the front it's uh, it's very interesting though so here we go then into the second sector of lap 15 Kifla drives nicely here and he looks behind I'm still holding on to that third place at the moment uh, gaps are maintaining um, they're staying quite the same at the moment as so we round up the second sector and oh look at the bottom of the screen lost connection to uh, to me so that's Alex that was Alex talking to me did you just disconnect and this is a very weird ending to this uh, to this video I know um, Alex asked me on TeamSpeak have you just disconnected and I said yes so I disconnected for that race bad luck at the wrong time definitely um, I disconnected from that race I couldn't do anything about it um, it basically said lost connection to the lobby 
and that is very unfortunate definitely because first of all it was looking r like a really good race um, which could have you know quite an interesting end um, but unfortunately I disconnected from that race and um, basically you can see here Alex got third in that race um, and Gaston um, ba ended up in third first position so his first race and he ended up in first so that's a really really good result from him good uh, good job from him and uh, congratulations on the win good drive uh, second was Kifla but Alex then going for a free stop and ending up in third as well uh, I, f I don't know I think it would have been quite an interesting race uh, with me in there as well uh, battling for the podium positions and I think this is just bad bad luck. Um, you cannot do anything about it. I got disconnected twice during this season. Uh, I disconnected in Monaco as well, but that was in the qualifying, so I could rejoin. Um, but now it was in the race, and that means that you cannot rejoin. Um, that's the bad luck. I think uh, it also comes in quite a you know bad bad um, bad uh, what's it called a bad time uh, because. I really really needed those points for the championship it currently means that I am 22 points behind Alex uh, in the championship with just uh, five races remaining I know that you know you can make up that gap but 22 second uh, 22 points that's the biggest gap um, a leader has had in this season I'm going to try my best um, but it's it's going to be tough closing that gap down but next up is Suzuka which is a track which I um, usually really enjoy especially the first sector it is uh, it's great it's a very good track uh, so I hope to make up some points on Alex there and I definitely hope that uh, Gaston and Kifla um, that they can again challenge at the front because that definitely you know it spices up things a little bit more because we have seen Alex and me basically dominating the, the front of the field if you could say it like that um, throughout the whole season and now there are finally another you know another um, two people in there uh, who were able to fight at the front so that was really good um, I hope to see that throughout uh, the rest of the season and that's pretty much it for this video I think guys so again I apologize for the uh, footage that got corrupted but that's the way it is and I think it's bad luck uh, also the disconnect then it is bad luck but you cannot do anything about it I mean uh, I've got to accept it and come back stronger than ever um, which I'm very motivated for I mean these situations always motivate me when I have to uh, return from you know from a bad result or anything like that uh, I really like to uh, to fight uh, against that and you know put in a good result for the next race um, so I think I've been talking uh, for a long time um, again a disconnect bad luck uh, things like that happen though uh, maybe next time it is Alex who disconnects you don't know you never know um, maybe uh, this time it was me maybe next time it is Alex when he maybe has bad luck even though that usually doesn't happen um, anyway I think you guys um, well I hope you guys will appreciate it um, I have tried my best with the point of views from other people again thank you to Kifla and Shikane for sharing their point of views I hope you still have enjoyed this video even though it was a little bit short last but not least um, I would like to uh, to tell you guys right now that I'm going to retire after this season from AOR so these uh, final couple of races these final five races of this season will be my final uh, races uh, with AOR uh, at the moment I'm uh, going to retire after this season and my reason for that is that I think that this game is not stable enough for multiplayer first of all uh, I have a couple of reasons um, going into that a little bit more I think this game it has uh, lag bubbles the multiplayer isn't really stable it lags quite a bit sometimes uh, wheel to re wheel racing is really difficult because you have to um, you have to adapt yourself because you know that uh, with the lag bubble you cannot uh, be over aggressive uh, even though when it looks like you won't hit a car in your screen on your screen you will hit him on his screen which is a little bit confusing all the time and to be honest I think uh, I'm I'm a bit done with this game I'm finished with it um, I've done enough I know a few other people as well with the same thing as me I'm currently leaning towards the sim side so the simulator side of of the games um, instead of um, F1 I mean F1 is not a serious you know simulator uh, definitely not um, I, I really do enjoy it though um, it's it's good fun but 
um, I'm slowly you know getting bored with it uh, unfortunately uh, so I hope you guys will understand it then the second reason for that is that I'm going to join formal sim racing FSR which is an you know a new experience for me a new challenge which I really like and um, I think formula sim racing is from another level and uh, that is a simulator which I really enjoy because it's played with R Factor 2 and not with F1 2013 um, so you know that's another reason and the 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 decision was actually it wasn't really made this this you know after this race it was my decision to to uh, to retire was already made a couple of races ago because um, as I said before I think I'm I'm just done with the game currently um, and I would like you know another a new challenge uh, after this season so that's it I hope you guys will understand it um, I'm sure that a lot of you guys won't be happy with it but I think in the end of the day it is my own choice and yeah uh, I'm sure that formula sim racing is going to be even better than this really I'm really sure because formula sim racing is is a great step uh, it's a good step higher up and it's very good racing there um, I mean I have really enjoyed driving with AOR but everything comes to an end and yeah as I said before I'm just I'm, I'm a bit done with the game now com becoming a little bit bored uh, I think there are too many glitches and it's not it's not really a game that uh, at the moment um, suits me well it does suit me but I'm not happy with the game anymore um, as soon as I bought R Factor 2 I was even you know I was even more uh, I was even more convinced that, that I should retire after this season because R Factor 2 is really great it's better than this game um, in my opinion because I just enjoy the game more so you know that's a lot of talking but I think I have to uh, I had to explain it and I hope you guys will understand it so uh, I will be racing uh, till the end of this season don't worry but next season I won't be there so that's it and I hope you guys understand it uh, and see you next week in Suzuka where hopefully we will have another very good race and hopefully I can make that race to the end so thanks for watching if you have enjoyed the video I would really appreciate a like and other than that I'll see you guys next time goodbye